Hi everybody, Ian Higton from Platform32 here, back with another Let's Play. This is a little bit different, this is a Let's Play kind of tour of Ghost Recon Future Soldiers' newest piece of DLC, the Kyber Strike Package, uh, which is out, it's out today on the Xbox 360 and it's out tomorrow the 10th on the PlayStation 3. Uh, I've got it a day early. So there's actually no one online playing it at the moment. But I thought I'd uh, do a quick tour of the maps that are available so you guys can see what it is you will be spending your money on if you're a dedicated ghost reconner like uh, myself. Oh, I don't want to search for a game. I want to make a custom match and host a match. Here we go. So, maps-wise for multiplayer... Uh, the three new DLC maps are Switchback, Palace, and Transit. So that's three new multiplayer maps. So we'll have a quick look at each, starting with Switchback. So I'll launch this and uh, do a little mix and lose the loading times. Okay, so that was uh, me mixing out the loading screen. Uh, okay, I'm going to be the rifleman. It doesn't really matter who I'm going to pick, to be honest, because no one else is playing. Uh, let's respawn here, then. Hello, my friend. Right, let's get the map up. So you can see here, I've spawned down this area, and the map is kind of a horseshoe-shaped map. Uh, you've got buildings kind of running on the outskirts of the map, but there's alleyways and everything in between them all, and various uh, bits of cover in, in between. Let's go and have a quick look. Mm -mm -mm. So it's... Uh, it's going in with the scheme of uh, Ghost Recon scheme of sandy browns and uh, dusty kind of landscapes. Uh, there's lots of <laughs> lots of abandoned cars to take cover behind. Some buses with some lovely paintwork. Uh, can we get inside the buses? No, I don't think we can get inside the buses on this one. Uh, it's good kind of cover vantage points up there at the top. I'm advancing down the main road. I guess if you wanted you could uh, advance down the back end. Ooh, uh, let's have a quick look up the back end here. So where am I now? Oops. I'm uh, up on the very end of the map up here. So this is a horseshoe kind of map switchback, and this is uh, their description, Ubisoft's description of this map is Step off the main road leading down into the city and into a maze of ancient buildings and narrow alleyways. The twists and turns of the alleyways turn every corner into a close quarters death match. And yes, there is uh, a lot of close quarters battles I foresee here. Lots of uh, places to hide and pop out with a shotgun. Not great for snipers this map. Which is good because I hate snipers. I'll go and check out the demo charge. I'm moving my way up the other bit of the uh, the horseshoe now. There's a lot of different levels and lots of different hidey holes and so on on this map. Can I climb up there? No. I'm thinking I'm playing Assassin's Creed or something. Thinking I can climb up there. There we go. This is the demo. The EMP blast thing. It's uh, let's hold that and we'll charge. that. Placing demo charge. So map wise, come on, beep, beep, beep. I can't bring the map up while I'm placing demo charge. Let's have a look. So map wise, I'm at the top of it. Let's just go and check out the opposing team spawn. Oh, I can't go in there. Ooh, oh, no. That uh, helps eliminate camping, which is nice. So that's. Uh, Switch back. Let's go and switch back to the next one. Palace. Woo! The enemy here. A supply cache in your area. So here we go. We're in the uh, next map, which is called Palace. Uh, let's have a quick look at the map. Okay, so I've spawned on the left hand side, and there seems to be quite a lot of different alleyways and paths to take through this palace. Now, 
the description of this one is, there's no time for reflection even in this magnificent relic. What was once a museum dedicated to showing the glories of the past is now a battlefield with a massive courtyard at the heart of its congested ground. So, lots of buildings to take cover behind, maybe some sneaky bits down here. Yeah, some sneaky entrances. So you can flank your foes. It's quite a wide map, actually. Whereabouts am I? Oh. Coming down, straight down the middle. It's definitely pretty cool. I like this one. This will be some good open air firefights. Lots of bouncing, lots of cover bounce, and all that jazz. <laughs> you have to excuse me for not being too talkative today. I've stayed up till about six in the morning to upload some dishonoured footage by an embargo time. So, uh, my uh, my brain's running at minus speed. Oh, this is quite cool. A little museum. Some relics. Screw you, relics. I wonder if there's a dinosaur in here. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. It's like the Taj Mahal or something. Okay, so I can't go any further than this. Because of spawning and stuff, but that's pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to having battles on this map for sure. Very interesting, very cool looking map. I like this one. Okay, on to the next one. <laughs> Okay, this is the final map now, uh, the multiplayer maps anyway, and this is called Transit. And this is a Moscow metro station, makes for close quarters and close range combat. Trains pulling in and out of the station add to the danger as ghosts and bodarks slug it out underground. So that's pretty cool, we've got moving trains on this train map. Oh, let's have a look at the map. Bring this up. So, it's a big symmetrical map. Uh, I'm on this end, and the objective looks like it might be in the middle of some tracks, which would be pretty crazy. Let's go down and see if we can't find it. What's the detail here? What do we got on the boards? Oh, a blah blah blah, club blah 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 blah. Oh look, the train to club blah 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 is at 10:45. Oh, look at that. 5.32, platform 32, baby. 32's in every game. The developers love platform 32, you see, so they always hide 32's in the games. Just look out for 32's in games, you'll see them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not very much, kind of, like, cover in this map. Oh, maybe... Secure the cash. Cover me. Oh, secure the cash. No, I'm not going to bother securing the cash. I'm just going to have a look around. We don't need to be seen securing the cash. I want to get run over by a train. So... There's tunnels all the way down. I can't get into the other person's spawn. So there's an underground way to go. And there's an overground way to go as well. We've got a... Uh, Parked train here, which is going to be some cool covery systems. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, that was close. Don't want to get run over just yet, but I do want to get run over. Just to warn any of you guys who are squeamish, I'm going to be getting my ass run over in a bit. So Ghost Recon Future Soldier is, uh, I think it's a really good multiplayer. I don't think the game ended up being that popular, to be honest, but I liked it. Fuuuuck! Oh, Kasplaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Gorilla Mode and check out the new map at Gorilla Mode. Ooh, what a lovely mix. have a feeling it would look nicer if I'd have used a dip to colour dissolve, but can't change that now, I'm afraid. Uh, my guy, for some reason, his skin hasn't loaded. So he is... Oh, there we go. No, it's back. He's invisible now. Uh, some of his... Uh, still some of his kit haven't loaded so the textures. That was a bit weird. There we go. He's all loaded his textures now. So this is the guerrilla mode. kind of like uh, horde mode style levels, basically. And this is the new one for this DLC called Village. You like the gorilla mode? Uh, this might be quite a nice one to play on. To be honest, I don't really play the gorilla mode too much. I played it a little bit for achievements. Uh, you can't bring your maps up, so that's screwed. Uh, but a peaceful country village finds itself transformed into a battleground as fighting rages across its central bus station. Long alleyways that run between war damaged buildings make a perfect hunting ground for snipers, and a shootout near the town's gas station could turn explosive. Is that the gas station? Headquarter. That's headquarter. Whoa. We're shutting ahead. No. Uh, there's also included in this uh, downloadable pack package thing is uh, a new multiplayer game mode called Takeover. I should have told you about that in the other bit, but similar to classic team deathmatch, score points for your team by eliminating enemies. Tip the scales by taking control of the enemy's objective and earn a score multiplier to your team. Defend your team's objective to prevent enemies from gaining the same advantage. Choose to split your team to defend and attack at the same time, or move as a group and overwhelm your enemy. When a mission ends, the team with the highest score wins. That went right over my head, but some of you might have understood that. So, that was a quick tour of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Kyber Strike DLC package which is out today for the Xbox and tomorrow for the PlayStation 3. It uh, features three new multiplayer maps, a multiplayer game mode called Takeover, uh, one guerrilla mode map called Village, uh, it features new achievements, I don't know what they are, and it also features a level cap increase of plus 10, so you can rank up plus 10 more. It's uh, 800 pounds, 800 pounds, 800 Microsoft points on Xbox Live, or 7 pounds 99 on the PlayStation Network. So if you're a Ghost Recon fan, uh, that's what you're getting. So yeah, deal with it, deal with it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. My name's been Ian Higton, and if you like this or want more reviews, news, exclusive content, exclusive uh, interviews uh, before games have been released, Let's Plays and stuff like that, then please do subscribe um, clicking on this screen. Right, I'm really tired. I'm off to bed. Thanks for watching. Bye.